Kathy with Art and Living Magazine, and we are here at the premiere of Margin Wars in beautiful Hollywood, California. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Margin Wars. You played uh, Grandma Betty, is that correct? That's right. It's an odd role for me because it's a country wife, a, country, you know, a farmer's wife, you know. And I'm from New York City, so <laughs> I know nothing about farming, but I learned. Tell me a little bit about the Margin Wars and your in your role in the in the film. I play Melvin. I play uh, the son of a Swedish dairy farmer, Doris Roberts and Robert Lozier, my grandparents, and um, we're in Wisconsin, hanging out with the cows. And uh, um, Ron G comes along and breaks down in front of our farm, and we uh, we help him out, and he ends up betraying us. Wow, a little bit of a Hollywood twist in there, huh? A, bit of a Hollywood twist, yes, yes. So Michael, like Dave actually saw me. I think he found me on YouTube and auditioned me, and I saw the script, and I'm like, I'm from the south, and basically it's like a black kid in the middle of nowhere, and you got this stuff happening, and uh, I'm from the south, and so I, I got, I really connected with the character, um, just being in a place where sometimes you don't always fit in, but you have to make the best of it, and uh, that's basically what my character did, man. I had a great time shooting the movie. So tell me a little bit about Margin Wars, Ed. Well, I, I have yet to see it. But uh, the story has always excited me. I find it very provocative, and I'm looking forward to it. Tell me a little bit about some projects in the future that we can uh, find you in. Well, I tour with a one-man production of FDR. Wow, we're here with John Ruby. We're doing, we've got Rascal Flats in the movie theaters next uh, a week from tonight. Uh, the premiere of their new Changed album. Considering that this is my first film, feature film and I've got an amazing turnout with, with stars supporting me, I'm about as thrilled as I can be, especially being here at the Arclight. It's just a dream come true. How does it feel to be an executive producer? Well, let's see. I, was, I created the story. I'm one of the writers. Uh, I ended up directing the movie, uh, and my wife and I are executive producers, so it feels pretty good since it's our baby. It's 